for this trick, we need an empty can right there, and we're going to need an invisible sponge ball, which I'll place underneath it like that. If I just give a little magic wave over the can, that invisible sponge ball should become visible, like so. I'll just break that sponge ball in two, that'll give us two sponge balls. The last sponge ball is actually inside of the can somewhere. Let's see here. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Yes, there we are. There's our third and final sponge ball. So, one, two, three sponge balls. The plot is quite simple. We're going to take our sponge balls and we're going to place them all into um, this hand, like so. And the goal is to make them jump into our empty can. Let's get started. Two snaps over here, one over here. There's only two sponge balls left on this side. Inside the can is our third one. This time we're going to do it again, except we're going to leave this sponge ball sticking out like that. That'll make it a little bit more interesting. Watch the sponge ball. It's going inside of the can. I push this one in, like so. One snap here, two over here. There's only one left on this side, inside of the can of course are our two missing sponge balls. So, so graceful. And the last sponge ball we are going to keep inside of the hand like this. It's going to stay inside of my hand the entire time. These two sponge balls are of course going into our empty can. Like so. A wave over this sponge ball. Three snaps on this side. The sponge ball completely disappears and joins its fellows in the camp. And that is the trick.